Hello folks and welcome to a new game for us. This is called 9-Bit Armies A Bit Too Far. I've only gone through the tutorial and I haven't done anything else. It's a cool voxel style war game for lack of a better term. Uh, it gives me lots of feelings of uh, Red Alert, uh, Command and Conquer style games, but we'll see how long that lasts because I only played the tutorial just to get the basic movement and kind of seeing how it goes. So I'm going to go into campaign here. Uh, right now there's only one, which is Overlord. Sentinels is still coming soon. And then we have co-op games. And at the time of this recording, this could have been out. I don't know. Uh, if it is, we'll jump into it more down the road here. I want to leave this at easy level because uh, hardcore is locked. Hard, I don't like to start games at hard level. Uh, and easy, I also don't like to do that. So let's go ahead and begin here and see what we have. Uh, our first one is Steel Shore. Uh, and we have all of our stats. Uh, we can see that we can actually play this online and uh, we'll click on Steel Shore and see what we have. Uh, so we're gonna start off here, and again, this is brand new to me beyond going through the tutorial of how to build structures and how to move units. That's pretty much all that's covered, so that's all I got. Let's see, we have Central Command has this, uh, designated a civilian village as compromised. It must be wiped out. We'll spin it as a terrorist training camp if anyone asks. Awesome. Uh, so this is our headquarters here. It looks like we're gonna have to knock out these points. Uh, and uh, it looks like they have another way in over here, if I'm guessing this right. Uh, so our bronze objective is to destroy all the enemy outposts. Our silver is to build 45 units, not including harvesters. And then our final one is uh, to do all of that within 10 minutes. Cool. We have our player loadout, and we can't see our ally loadout, but that's fine. Uh, the structures we have available to us are our headquarters. We have a refinery, which, uh, let's see. Okay. Free harvester when built, cool. We have a barracks, which allows us to build units. We have a motor pool, uh, which allows production of ground vehicles. And then we also have a power plant. Unit-wise, we have a infantryman, a rocket infantry, a harvester, and then an armored car. So let's go ahead and begin and see what we do. And we're gonna try to do this in under 10 minutes. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Um, I've heard good things about this game, honestly, so I'm, I'm really interested in it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Command & Conquer and Red Alert and all that stuff. I still play them. They're available on Steam if you're interested. And if you want me to do that game, let me know, because I would love to play through all the missions again. It's one of my favorite games ever. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and begin this one. Again, it's giving us a recap of all the missions that we need to do. Welcome to Overlord's Command, Captain. I am Colonel Hardgrove. I will be your liaison to Central. Awesome. So I'm assuming these are bad guy bases here. More bad guy bases there. Or maybe it's all the same base. I don't know. All right. All right, so we need to go through and wipe out this area because uh, they've determined that it's a thing we need to do. Any forward HQ structures? I don't know. Okay, so they're little ones but we need to make sure we take those out it looks like they're special commands all right we need to make sure we train more people and uh, from the tutorial when you build a unit it adds if you build more barracks you can build faster units all right there we go uh, so the interface is very 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 similar to uh what you call all right, we're going to build this first, and hopefully you have your money up here, so hopefully we'll go through and build that. Uh, you can only build one structure at a time. Again, this is very, very similar to Red Alert and all that stuff. So let's take a look here. We have our money spots, where it's just going to. We have one right there, which has a little 15,000-ish dollars available to us. So we're going to build that. We'll build some of these bad boys. And we don't have a ton of money right now, but that's okay. We have lots of money spots with these little refineries. And then we can go out along the road. Can we go this way too? Looks like we can. Okay, cool. I know we can start building units once we have the barracks. All right, so I'm just gonna build a bunch of these guys. All right, we'll do that. Um, we can build another barracks, I think. Yeah, we can afford that. So we'll build an additional barracks. That will let us do things a little faster. And power-wise, uh, you can see our power level is, uh, we've used 7,500, so we need to build another power unit here. It's gonna cost us 300, which isn't too bad. Barracks complete. All right, and you can see it's multiplied times two, so it's gonna build those things much quicker now. Constructing. I don't know what the 
unit circle thing means. I don't know if this needs to be connected to that or not. I'm hoping that we're okay. So we're using up all of our power right now. We have no additional power. Hopefully with this being constructed, we'll be able to do more. I know we've trained 10. That's what I want to do. There we go, and our power's back on spec. We're gonna build a motor pool as well, mainly because I want additional harvesters. We'll highlight all of these guys, and we're gonna send them over to this bridge. Um, uh, maybe we'll capture this little nine thing for nine bit armies. Uh, I'm also going to put a group over here because they may decide to try to come over and attack us, and I don't want that to happen either. So we'll figure that out as we get rolling here. We're going to build some additional harvesters and we're going to continue to build more of the good guys. Vehicle crate. All right, so we have our first vehicle rolling out here. It is a harvester and it's going and doing its job. It's nice that this is so close. Once this gets farther away, it's going to be a little bit more work to build all this stuff, um, but that's okay. Uh, so let's build another barracks so we get guys even faster. And let's get some of these uh, trucks, armored cars. All right, we don't have enough money to do anything else, but we're gonna put another crew on that area there just in case. And we're gonna go over to the Bronze Star and capture that objective. Barracks complete. Locking on. Locked on target. Fire at will. All right, we're just knocking out the bad guys, and then we're gonna open up on that, and then we're gonna destroy their barracks, which we've done with ease. So those guys are gonna head out that way. We have, what is this? The helicopter, is that good guy or bad guy? I don't know. So we're just gonna have these guys kind of exist over there for right now. Because they don't know what their status is. Ready for orders. And we're going to head up this way. What is this? What is this? What are you guys doing? Okay. We're going to go over and visit whoever this is. Nope, we have a jeep back there somewhere. Alright, they met their maker. Are you guys good guys or bad guys? Okay, you seem like you're good guys. I keep running out of money, that's okay. Let's just move these guys up, because they move way faster than our ground units. And we'll go through and just keep making people and doing the thing. Alright, let's say we can... I'm just building crazy amounts of people because I don't know what else to do. It doesn't seem to be any healing area, so we can't really do much with that, but that's okay. We're coming up on one of their bases, it looks like. So we got an APC. Oh no, that's a harvester. Attack their ground units. There we go. Get that guy. Get rid of that sea transport. Let's get rid of that barracks. There we go. Got that taken care of. And we're going to move up to this bridge. And then we have this crew here that is going to exist over there while they're moving. And then we have a crew all the way over here. Reporting. Let's go get that crate. You have to kind of guess, look for. Vehicle crate. Now we have another helicopter inbound. I don't know what the helicopters do. They're not our guys. I don't know what to do with them. But they're there. Production halted. Yep. Insufficient funds. Ready to rack it. And they keep sending guys. I don't understand why they want to send guys. But I mean, we'll we'll answer, obviously. Got it. We're gonna go over here. Going. Moving. 
and we're gonna go get that crate. Ooh, we got a rocket car that was causing some problems. Vehicle crate. All right. Let's head over there. Get that next step. Going. Talk to me. Ready for orders. Moving. And this is a fun. Just shoot him up. I like. I. I really dig what's going on. I. I I'm having fun. And I'm going through and just do it. I mean, I know this is a simple mission. I know this is, I mean, it's designed to be beat in under 10 minutes, so I get it. There we go. Let's knock out that barracks. All right, and then we'll go and beat that sea transport as well. We have this whole crew, which we can, let's see, where's the, oh, they're attacking us on the bridge. They're attacking us on the bridge. Oh goodness, okay. So they're not sitting back and just taking it. They are actively fighting us here, which I kind of dig that they're coming at us as hard as they can, or at least doing something against us. They're not just sitting back and letting us attack them, which is usually what happens in a lot of these games. Is they just, they just kind of sit there and take it. Oh boy, they've come with uh, a crew here, haven't they? All right, everybody pick the bad guy that they want to target and target them. <laughs> Got it. All right. Going. I don't know if there's a way to heal our units or not. Oh, we still have bad guys. Let's deal with the bad guys. Come on, guys. My bad. Okay, we got them. Go up and well, get that armored car. And let's slowly move up this way. What's going on in the center here? What is this? Is that the bad guys HQ? Talk to me. All right, let's get over going. here. You Ready guys can go secure that crate. And then we'll go capture the last objective, I believe. We gotta knock out that APC. It's gonna have guys on board. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we need to generate some guys real fast here. All right, and then we're gonna go with this crew here. All of these guys are eventually gonna wind up over this way. But we need to make sure that we don't get wiped off the face of the earth here before that happens, <laughs> which is very likely. But here comes our crew. Let's go pay them a visit here. Fire at will. Opening fire. Rockets launched. Ooh, we got lots of bad guys. Locking on. Locked on target. Fire at will. Oh my. Lots of bad guys. Alright, folks, let's let's jam them up here. Why are they, why are all the enemy cars up there? All right, let's go wipe that out. Destroy that engineer. And that rocket car needs to go away. There we go, okay. It's not really a hidden base, it's in the middle of everything. We know where it's at. Mission complete. All right, did I do my job? Did I get all my points? We created 110 units. Our goal was 45. Um, but we failed our objective of completing within 10 minutes. Oh, bummer. I thought I thought I did it, but apparently not. Okay, we'll continue out, and that will take us to fleeing rafts, uh, which I guess we'll capture next time, uh, because I don't want to make these videos too long, but I, I want to play this game. Uh, I, I'm really into this. This is like, this is childhood for me. Uh, of this style of game where you build bases and you optimize stuff and then you go through and destroy the enemy but while you're trying to do that the enemy attacks you but the enemy seems really smart in this one where they're coming back at you and uh they're not only uh actively trying to defend their base they're also going and trying to attack you which i totally dig 
Uh, so we'll be back next time with fleeing rats uh, and we'll see how that happens on our next one. But folks, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is 9-Bit Armies and uh, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.